It's Craven time, Reject Nation. We are joined by John. John, how are you? I am craving this trailer. Coy, you are sweaty because I called you when you were at the gym. <laughs> Getting a pump on, time to get a pump and some Sony on. That's commitment right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead, leave a like on this video. That would mean a lot. There's a couple of things I want to mention. If you missed our flash spoiler talk on Saturday, we announced that we are going to be having a Comic-Con panel, a real Rejects Comic-Con panel, Saturday, July 22nd, just a few hours before Marvel. More details to come sooner rather than later. Later. Secondly, this video is sponsored by a drink that I'm drinking right now, G Fuel. If you look at my fridge, you'll see that I've got so much G Fuel in there. Look at that. But the reason I want to shout them out in this video is because everyone grab a tub. They have these Spider-Verse exclusive flavors right now. And if you use code Reject Nation, you get 20% off select tubs. Right now, I'm drinking the one in John's hand, and it is delicious. You guys know I'm obsessed with G Fuel. These two love G Fuel. They're constantly stealing it from me. And I say, fine, whatever. I guess I'll be a nice employer today. But seriously, G Fuel. You know how much I love you. You guys got to know by this point. I'm always drinking it, even when they're not in a sponsored post. So thank you, guys. Oh, it's a Sony movie. It's, it's that sound time. design from Spider-Verse. My son, never show mercy. Russell Crowe? They are prey. <laughs> we are predators. I love that Russell Crowe agreed to do this. Me too. <laughs> Your mother is dead. She died because you sent her away. She was weak, sick in her mind. That's you chameleon. Business. Yes. Oh, is it? On the left, yeah. Power is about strength. If you show weakness, <laughs> you will give our enemies an opening. Befriended. Shoot. Lion is our enemy. That becomes his vest. Or does it? He is weak, like his mother. Leave him. What happened that day? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's crazy. He's like Charlie yeah. Sheen. He's Face. got tiger blood, but lion. And for the first time, I saw my true self. And he doesn't have an accent? Tell me about this hunter. Because his dad disowned him. He uses a connection with animals to track his prey. And once you're on his list, there's only one way off. There's a radioactive lion. <laughs> there's six of you now. Whoa! Potion, Whoa. potion, nice. potion, potion. Yes! 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 Okay, yes! okay, Sony. I'm so in. Marvel body shot there. Father, this evil into the world. Oh, face bite. I take it out. Well, Whoa. yes, Whoa, yeah. the bear oh, this is what I'm bear talking about. <laughs> you are, you're saving this. <laughs> Hunting for a trophy. The murderers. Isn't that what he taught us? Callisto! You don't get to do that to me anymore. Whoa. Yes! All oh, the jacket, Mr. the vest. Mr. Mr. Teglin? <laughs> Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. <laughs> cool. You're a goddamn lunatic. Oh, you just figure that out now. Go. Interesting last it's shot. It's time. There is an animal in each one of us. Don't you want to know why they call me the rhino? Whoa, what? Damn. We're getting like an actual rhino. This is gonna turn into a rhino. Yeah. I mean, that's the so opposite we're of the doing an a So this is not in the Amazing Spider-Man universe. It confirmed. confirmed. <laughs> oh, Spider versus. Okay, that felt like typical Sony Marvel trailer. I was like, oh god, we're going down this path again. The second blood and gore and violence started happening, I forgot we were watching a Red Band trailer for a second, and then I was like, this this is all you needed to do. This whole time. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. For Venom and Morbius, if you're going to go like <laughs> Sony Marvel schlock, at least just make it violent. I've <laughs> at least said it before. It they listen. They listen. saved the trailer entirely for me and suddenly went from, oh, God, it's Radioactive Lion. 
It is. He doesn't have an accent to yes, 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 yes. And Aaron Taylor Johnson's looking badass. This is great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that trailer uh, had a full 360 spin. For, uh, I, that was that was a journey for me. That was an emotional journey. Uh, and he does look uh, like he looks great in like the full lion. Um, what the hell is that called? It's a vest, it's a right? Vest. Just a vest. Yeah. But it was the lion fur, right? Yeah, it's got the mane on it. Yeah. It's the mane. That's yeah. what I was looking, I was looking oh, for. The yeah. word mane is what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, I, I I like the trailer. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did not expect to have that experience of oh, shit. Too hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Johnny, please take it away. Yeah, I absolutely agree. I think it's smart of them to build on their like you know kind of goofy ish but fun sort of '90s quality by making it that much more of an exploitation movie. I love the all all the different animals and stuff, and watching as he takes on different uh, properties of the animal kingdom to hunt down human beings. And for animal lovers out there, I have to imagine this will be a very cathartic movie because you're just going to watch him murk a ton of terrible people. And I know they changed bits of his character and whatnot, being the hunter now to being sort of a protector, a communer with animals. Yeah, I want to call it bits of changes, but yeah. <laughs> big, big changes to the origin, but at the same time, I'm kind of here for that. And I think, you know, somebody who represents and fights for and with the animal kingdom is a badass idea. So, yeah, yeah this looks awesome. And Aaron Taylor Johnson looks great. He does look great. I am liking the way it's shot, too. It looks better than Morbius, like the, the cinematography I'm talking about, specifically the lighting looks sharper, cleaner, and I like the variation between the jungle and the, the different environments and all that. So, yeah. But, Coy, how'd you know that was Chameleon? Okay, so his little brother, Dimitri, is who Chameleon is in the comic books. It's a half-brother. Uh, he's usually seen as more uh, small and slight and blonde, so that, to the left, is, is in the car. Uh, later, that. when he's reintroduced, he's going to be someone, I assume, that is uh, basically siding with Craven, but something puts them at odds, maybe like a portrayal from the father. At one point, he says in the trailer, you look just like father, so I think there's going to be like that undercurrent of family and legacy, and maybe they're fighting over the legacy. What I find most interesting is they not only introduce Callisto in this, which is huge in the Torment saga, which is Todd McFarlane first solo writing and illustrating run on Spider-Man. Uh, it was introduced in like 1990, Spider-Man number one. Explain Callisto, big, come on. Cal I'm getting there, but it, it's very iconic imagery used in the Torment uh, saga that they put in here. The spiders coming down <laughs> is not only introduced in the Torment saga, but also it is in Craven's Last Hunt. Now, this is obviously not going to touch on Craven's Last Hunt, but allowing that industry uh, That's what we uh, want. of, of we, the... We don't want it to touch on Craven's Last Hunt. We want it to get we there. Hate, we want to, we no, we hate the best storyline of all time. We hate Craven's Last Hunt. We hate that he's a hunter. If you introduce in the beginning <laughs> yep. those, those <laughs> images and those uh, hallucinations, I think it'll be a really good way to have the potion come into play to have him start to lose his mind and i'm thinking that's going to tie into how he fights spider-man so what i think this is going to be is they've got rhino who is in this case transforming i think instead of having him put in a suit that he's stuck in he's going to transform too many times to get stuck as the rhino which would be an interesting conversation about like him poaching poachers and him hunting animals and this man who's using an animal power to take out humans interesting commentary there but also it might be something with the chameleon where chameleon can transform his skin so i'm wondering if something happens that is the rhino's powers that allows chameleon to use his powers or if he influences the rhino but i think all of that ties in with Callisto, who has the ability to cause these potions and to have all these uh, African herbs that give Craven bigger powers, but it rots his mind. So I think Callisto is going to be either the big bad or cause the big bad in the film, so showing her in the trailers are interesting, and allowing that to lead to the greater Spider-Verse and using the sound design from across the Spider-Verse. A lot of those sounds and horns and things, I think, are all going to make a bigger web. I agree with 50% of what you're saying. That's fair. <laughs> I think you are. Uh, you have some great theories there of where this will ultimately lead to. And I feel like a lot of times you pitch these ideas that are often way better than what we get. I should be hired. <laughs> and uh, you, many people have said that you ought to have been, you ought to be hired. <laughs> many people have expressed that sentiment. Because I huh. would use it as Chameleon being Rhino as a commentary on this brotherly rivalry, and that's why his power set is different. And then that it's a big reveal and betrayal. So the expectation of the audience is as Rhino, but that would actually tie to his power set. But I think they'll just I, actually I, be involved. So they have more toys yeah, to sell. I, I don't think they're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the dream. That's, that's what I mean. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, thank you for all the information there. Um, that was great. That was excellent. It's gonna, gonna be Craven's year, but the fact that he's gonna be also in Marvel Spider-Man Two, where we're gonna get a more accurate version. <laughs> Of Craven, all right. Well, at least we got this. We got two versions of Craven. <laughs> we got this version of Craven, and then we're gonna have the accurate version represented in Marvel Spider Man 2. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I was really surprised by this. I really liked it a lot. <laughs> I liked it a lot more than I expected. To. He looks great, man. It's JC Shondor who did three, uh, Triple Frontier as well. I really like this director. I think it, it is gonna tie into the legacy of family and all those things. And I think uh, casting Russell Crowe is gonna be a really 
powerhouse moves. There's like, parts of the transformation with Rhino that look li- that remind me of like Amazing Spider-Man one specifically. <laughs> oh, like Lizard. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but hey, guys, uh, I'm loving the look of this. I'm loving the violence, loving the gore. I'm a simple man to please when it comes to this. Lower expectations, then I'm more than satisfied. <laughs> That's how we do this. What did you guys think about the trailer? Were you surprised by it? Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you, Koi, for rushing on over here from the gym. He sprinted from Hollywood to the area I live in. Uh, subscribe, leave a like, click that bell. Last one, Lisa, since we a page. I want to shout out Omni Media Michael B today because I'm sure right now he is doing exactly what we're doing, hustling to get his trailer reaction up here on the YouTubes, and he is one of the best reactors, in my personal opinion, who's out there. I feel like he should be way more popular than all of us, especially <laughs> Koi. I think he should be exceptionally more popular, Agreed. and one of these days, dude, when you move out to California, I promise you I'm hiring your ass, and you're just going to join here and replace someone, one of the people in this video. <laughs> Roxy Stroud. <laughs> hey, Roxy. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>